guys, it's me, the stupendous stupendous with my mighty pen ultimate. Don't forget to subscribe for some awesome adventures. See you then. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. In today's episode, Drew's gotta face off against some big villains. Well, actually, they're kind of mini, mini villains. You'll see. It was another sunny summer day, and Drew and his buddies couldn't wait to do one of the awesomest summertime activities. Banana boating? No way! Mom always made me swim away from boats. This is gonna be awesome! Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea. I can't swim. Oh, don't worry, Robbie. That's what the boat's for. But, but, but what if it sinks? Or we get attacked by a giant octopus? Or a whale knocks us over? Or what no if- No one's gonna mess with us when you've got your very own fish bodyguard on board. Hiya! Hop on, Robbie. Okay. Wahoo! I love banana boats. Why didn't I try this sooner? This is awesome. Ah, uh, we're sinking. I knew this was a bad idea. We're totally done for. Oh, no! Do you think we hit an iceberg? My great-grandparents said they saw that happen to a boat once. Drew quickly sketched the life raft. But suddenly... Uh... Do banana boats usually move on their own? Something smells fishy, guys. Well, you are in the ocean, Hero Drew. Hurry, follow me. Wahoo, another Drew Finn adventure. Sidekick Finn at your service. Drew and Finn swam super fast to catch up with the banana boat. When suddenly they started to get really, really <laughs> sad. That's weird. You, you okay, Hero Drew? I think so. Stop crying. We have to save that banana boat. Stop right there, whoever you are. Come out where I can see you. Are you guys mini onions? No wonder. Onions always make you cry. Ah, my eyes. They burn. Whew. Okay, you mini onions. Who are you, and what do you want with our banana boat? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that one went over my head. Hmm, I got an idea. Drew quickly whipped out his mighty pen ultimate and sketched a one-of-a-kind mini onion translator. All the best superheroes have one. Me? Yo, we're just a bunch of mini onions on vacation from villain duty. Yeah, we're usually in charge of helping make people cry. We got hungry on the beach and took your giant banana. Big whoop. Aha! So this is all just one big misunderstanding. Uh, you guys know that's not a real banana, right? Nonsense. It's delicious. Maybe it's out of season. Wanna trade? Hmm. Banana! Phew, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were worried about you guys. What happened over there? Did you get attacked by sharks? Nah, just some onions. Onions? Well, mini onions. But don't worry, we chase them off with bananas. Hmm, never read anything like that in my guide to aquatics and ocean mammals textbooks. You guys ready to ride? Uh, nope. Great, hop on. Whoa! Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. Their banana boat was back in action, and those mini onions weren't gonna bother them again anytime soon. Banana! <laughs> Moral of the story, boys and girls? Beware of mini onions lurking in the water the next time you go banana boating. And be sure to bring along some real bananas. Never know when they'll come in handy. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. I hope you're all ready to speed right into things because today's episode is quite a ride. It all started on an annual field trip. This year, all the cool school and cool school kids took a trip to the botanical garden. Hello, boys and girls. And my lousy, rotten kids. Well, all 
all kids are special. Anywho, welcome to the annual interschool field trip. Today is all about leaving our restrictions behind and connecting to the natural world around us. That goes for you too, bad guys. Villains need to know about the world so they can know how to wreck it. Right, well then, oh wow, looky here kids, isn't this little guy a beauty? gonna turn into quite the butterfly, eh? Ugh, I hardly got any likes on that pic. Maybe if I add an emoji. Because, you see, caterpillars turn into... Crush! Crush you, candies! There we go! Oh, I give up. No patience these days. Just then, Ray Blank snuck out of the pack and headed right towards a sign that said, No trespassing! Let's go! <laughs> Guys, look! Over there! The kids quietly snuck away and headed right towards Ray. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Oh no, he's going to get us all in trouble. Quick, you guys, we got to get him. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into... The Stupendous Drupendous! With no time to spare, Drew whipped out his penultimate and sketched a super speedy Drewmobile. And off they went, right past the sign, and howling night owls, and poisonous bushes. Kids, don't try this at home. Until finally... Ray Blink, stop! Wow, that was fast. Boo! Wow. Looking for me? <laughs> okay, either you ate too much candy or you're under some kind of magic spell. Even better, speed soda! I got it from that fountain over there. This awesome soda comes out. Get out of my way! I love that stuff and I'm thirsty. One cup and you'll fly through all the boring stuff in life. Like garden field trips. Yuck! That would be pretty sweet. So much more time for video games. So much more time for cooking tutorials. Gee, I don't know you guys. We don't even know what's in it. You can't be afraid of the future, Drew. Going faster is what new technology is all about. Without thinking twice, Nikki, Robbie, and Ella went straight for the fountain and got some speedy soda. <laughs> Suddenly things started to move a lot faster. I could totally take our dash. This is incredible. Just gotta get better at my footwork. Okay, this is awesome. Um, guys? They all race at lightning speed just in time for the end of the field trip, which they sped right through. And then craft class, which seemed like it was over in a second. Kids, you forgot your slime. And then lunchtime, which seemed like it was over in a minute. And then the annual cool school mountain hike, which they finished before anyone else. Well, I didn't see anything or enjoy it very much, but I was done super fast. Guys, I have a confession to make. I kind of want to slow down. Me too. This is a little too fast. I hear you. I've got lots of time for YouTube videos, but I feel like I'm missing the point of everything. I want to enjoy stuff. Enjoying your new speedy superpowers? As a matter of fact, we're not. How long does this last, Ray? Forever! And as long as you're speeding through everything, you'll never have fun at cool school again! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to discuss a pressing issue among our students. You mean how they're totally distracted? Can't even finish one fairy tale before they're zipping off to the next thing. It's the same over at cool school! Can't even get Ray to finish detention, so I gotta give him more detention. It's a mess. Well, I've had enough of it, and our hero Drew here has a plan to make it stop. I'll try to draw a slow down machine, but we have to get everyone to stop drinking the soda. Or it may not work at all. 50-50 shot. So there's a chance they'll be speeding through cool school forever? Yes, and side effects include severe sleepiness, no ability to focus, and endless ice cream cravings. Okay, maybe the last part isn't so bad. Works for me. I'm on it. It was lunchtime again and all the kids were plowing through another round of PB&Js. There's hardly even time to taste anything. Guys, you have to come here and step inside my slow down machine. Yes, please. Yeah, I'd like to slow down a little. They each ran to the machine so fast they could barely squeeze in. Then it turned on and... Anyone Whoa. else feel slower? Oops, maybe I turned it up too much. Looks like the machine did the trick. No more speed soda for these guys. Don't worry, we're never drinking that again. Never ever. No matter how thirsty I get, it's strictly water. Maybe some orange juice. And of course, chocolate milk on weekends. Well, kids, looks like Drew saved the day again. The speed soda was gone, and Ray wasn't gonna bother them anytime soon. No more soda for you. From now on, it's just prune juice and cod liver oil.
More of the story, boys and girls. Don't drink soda to speed up life. Enjoy the journey. I want if you're thirsty, have some good old fashioned water. Although, chocolate milk's pretty good too. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his mighty penultimate. In today's episode, Drew's gotta fight an evil prankster to save the big holiday dinner at Cool School. It was the morning of the big feast, and Drew and his buddies couldn't wait for the delicious Cool School holiday dinner. <gasps> oh man, oh man. Hello? Guys, guys, wake up, wake up. Oh, good, you're up. What is it, Robbie? Tonight is the big dinner. Happy holidays, let's eat. <sighs> I haven't woken up this early on vacation since... Ever. Sorry for waking you. Nothing a super juicy turkey can't fix. Well, actually, turkey has a chemical called tryptophan, which makes you more sleepy. Let me get my textbook and I'll show you how it works. Anyway, I'll bet they could use our help prepping dinner over at Cool School. Meet you guys there in 10? Pumpkin pie for breakfast sounds pretty good. Okay, I'm in. I'm on my way. So, as I was saying, tryptophan. Hey, where'd everybody go? It sure doesn't smell like Thanksgiving in here. Didn't you kids hear? The Thanksgiving holiday dinner is canceled. Canceled? That can't be right. You can't just cancel a holiday dinner. They don't cancel August Moon in China or Cerulean in Rome or, or, or. Sorry, Nikki. Looks like the turkeys have all gone on vacation. Can't have Thanksgiving without turkey. Careful. You don't want to get too much sun. You could roast. I'm good, Ma. I smeared on plenty of gravy. Okay, but don't suck yourself before dinner. Eh, I'm always stuffed. Okay, that's not right. Don't worry, guys. I can fix this. With a big holiday dinner on the line, Drew whipped out his pen ultimate and sketched his own super delicious turkey. But the next thing he knew... Huh? A pile of keys? That's not what I wanted to draw. One more time, Drew pulled out his penultimate and tried sketching a turkey. Huh? Who are you? I am a Turk from Turkey. Who are you? Wow, wrong turkey. Uh, never mind. Hmm, interesting. What is it, Nikki? All of the stuff you drew is exactly half of what you meant to draw. Keys and a Turk instead of turkeys? I think someone is messing with your drawing. Wow, I think you're right. This has villain written all over it. Mmm, giant pie. What? All this food talk was making me hungry. Robbie, wait! I have an idea! With no time to spare, Nikki quickly pulled out her traveler's chemistry set and concocted a heaping batch of orange... Pumpkin pie filling? That's what it's supposed to look like anyway. It's really ooey, gooey, sticky slime. That way, if the villain gets close, bam, we catch him. What is it with everyone around here ruining yummy foods? Shh! Duck down here! Uh-huh. Just as I suspected. Reveal yourself, evil holiday dinner ruiner! Never! Then I'll do it for you. Ah! Help! Ella, no! Drew pulled out his pen and quickly sketched a slime vacuum. He used a slime bag to suck up the slime. Okay, who are you? And why are you trying to ruin our holiday dinner? I'm Frankie, but everyone calls me Pranky Frankie. I'm a legend over at the School of Pranks and Franks. Pranks and Franks? Mmm, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, we do pranks, and we got the best cafeteria Franks in the county. I transferred to Cruel School, and I promised those guys I'd show them what a real Pranksgiving looks like. Pranksgiving? I never heard of that. It's the best holiday of the year. You do tons of mean pranks on each other all day long. Like making fake newspapers, or swapping things out after Drew draws them. Classic switcheroo, my specialty. But that's just mean. Aren't you thankful for anything? Uh, well, I guess I'm thankful for having people to prank. There you go. See, that's the holiday spirit. Listen here, Pranky Frankie. Thanksgiving is way too awesome to let any of your mean pranks get in the way. Oh yeah? Well, good luck stopping Frankster the prankster. Uh, what are you doing? Happy Pranksgiving to you! Ah! This isn't over! I'll be back! Finally! I've never been so thankful! Uh, I think we have some cleaning up to do before everyone gets here. Hehe. <laughs>
Well, kids, Julius Buddy saved the day once again. Pranky Frankie was out pranked, and Cool School's big holiday dinner was back on. Moral of the story, boys and girls, always be sure to carry around some spare slime in case you come across some evil pranksters. And you never know when you're going to need a slime vacuum to save your holiday dinner. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. In today's episode, Drew finds out what happens when life gives you lemons. Oh, Joy, don't you just love summer? The sun is hot and shining. And we don't have school or homework. Balloons, get your free balloons here. Joy, look. Enjoy the balloons, kids. Summer is the best. Yay, I love balloons. They're so colorful. Like this new bike I saw in the store window the other day. Will you help me earn some money so I can buy it? Sure. Well, it's summer, so we'll start a lemonade stand. That's a quick way to earn a buck. Great idea, Drew. I'll sketch some planks of wood, and you can color them in. Teamwork. Meanwhile, the Cruel School kids were also enjoying that beautiful day. Isn't summer great? No school, no responsibilities. I still have to clean my room. I never clean my room. <laughs> Instead, I do nothing all summer long. It's the best. I wish summer never had to end. That gives me an idea. If we pollute the earth and make it warmer, it'll stay summer forever. Then we'll never have to go to school again. Come on, Timmy Timmy, let's go. But I don't think we- I said let's go. Meanwhile, on the cool school side of town, Drew and Joy were hard at work, earning an honest living. We still need our ingredients. That's right, we need water, lemons, and sugar. Don't forget something to stir with. Joy and Drew were making super delicious lemonade while Ray Blank was up to no good. Isn't this great? <sighs> Uh, I don't feel so good. It's the perfect plan. Pollute the oceans, make it warm forever, and then summer will never end. Uh. Ow. And I have an even better idea. We need to get even meaner and anti-greener. I'm going to build a super evil state-of-the-art pollution machine. <laughs> and perfect. We are open for business. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. Timmy, start throwing trash in the engine. It's working. It's working. Meanwhile, the lemonade stand was a huge success. Roy, this is delicious. So cool and refreshing. I'm going to go back for a second and a third. Drew, everyone loves our lemonade. We did such a great job together. Yes, we did. And now I got these big muscles thanks to all the stirring. Ah, what's that? <coughs> this doesn't look good. And that's when Drew became the stupid and stupendous. Drew, you've got to get rid of this smoke. Quick, everyone, this way. We need some bubble helmets. Thanks, Drew. we got to figure out what's going on. <laughs> more pollution, more smoke. Ray Blank, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Drew. I'm just polluting the earth so it stays warm and it's always summer. But you need to respect the earth and keep it clean, Ray. We need to take care of our planet. That sounds lame. I want it to be hot, hot, hot. Why are you doing this? Because if summer never ends, I'll never have to go back to school. But you're always getting into trouble, don't you realize? If you have infinite summer, you'll have infinite summer school. What? No way! Summer school is the only thing worse than regular school. We gotta fix the environment real fast. <laughs> Quick, Drew, help me get rid of these clouds. I told you this wasn't a good idea, Ray. Can it, Timmy? Put out the fire. I don't want to have to go to summer school. I'll blast cool colors to help get rid of it. Great job, Joy. Um, Drew, we still kind of need to clean the ocean. I was kind of throwing trash in there earlier. You what? I'm sorry, okay? I think this is a job for Finn. Hi, Hero Drew. Hey, Finn, we need your help. 
Can you and your fishy friends clear the trash Ray put in the ocean? No problem, Drew. Here, Finn, I'll make some bins. This is fun, just like basketball. Three points, oh yeah. Okay, we've undone everything I polluted. Don't do that again, it's hot enough as is. Hey Joy, guess what? We made enough money at the lemonade stand that I can get a new bicycle too. Yay, that lemonade stand was such a good idea. Well, I'm pretty sweaty from all that pedaling. I could go for a lemonade. Sorry, Ray, we totally sold out. Arr. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. Ray Blank realized polluting was a bad idea and helped Drew make the skies clear again. And Joy got her brand new super colorful bicycle. Moral of the story, kids, don't build a pollution machine and ruin the earth. That can make it <coughs> hard to breathe. Oh, and when life gives you lemons, make a lemonade stand.